Hi, my name is Dr. Nathan Klocheski. I'm a research assistant professor and extension field crop pathologist at the University of Illinois. Today I'm going to be talking with you about tar spot of corn, what it is, and what you can do to manage it. Tar spot of corn is a relatively new disease to Midwest. It was first detected in Illinois and Indiana in 2015, and since that time has spread throughout the Midwest as well as Florida. This is a fungal disease that affects the foliage, husks, and stalks of corn. It likes it under cool, moderate temperatures, and that's 70 to 80 degrees, and nice and humid. So following a good rain event, it's gonna be perfect for this disease to take off after canopies have closed. In 2018, we had a significant epidemic of tar spot that affected many parts of the Midwest. And in Illinois, we saw 20 to 35 bushel losses. And in some places, for example, Michigan, upwards of 60 bushel per acre yield losses. Tar spot gets its name because it looks like your leaves or, or husks have been splashed with bits of tar. These are typically raised flecks and they can be round or they can be kind of diamond shaped in appearance to them. Now inside of each of those flecks are going to be several of these little pear shaped structures called parathesia and those will contain ascospores. Those ascospores are extruded under wet conditions at night and will be wind and rain dispersed to healthy plants or to unaffected tissue where they will cause infection and symptoms about 14 days later. There are several other diseases and disorders that can look like tar spot and you need to be able to differentiate these from tar spot because these aren't things that are going to be well managed through a fungicide application at tassel. Physoderma brown spot is a disease that actually is uh, infecting your plants early on in the season when your plants are still in the world. So you're talking about you know V5, V8, V10 around there. You see the symptoms later on in the season. Symptoms are typically banding on some leaves of the plants. Uh, you oftentimes will see this on the stalk as well. Only one or two leaves per plant typically are affected and it's scattered throughout the field. One of the things to keep in mind here Fungicide applications do not work at VT for Physoderma brown spot as this was infecting early in the season. Common rust and southern rust also can look a lot like tar spot, especially later in the season. As those pathogens age, they start to produce a structure, a spore bearing structure that's black. Those structures are going to be kind of uh, look like little peppercorns on your leaves. They typically will be on the underside or the opposite side of where the red or orange pustules were during the growing season. And they're all typically the same in terms of their size. So they're not going to be elongated or any pot. And the biggest issue we had last year was misidentification of insects for us as tar spot. Insects will use corn, especially earlier on in the season, as, as a place to use the restroom. And when frass is deposited, it looks a lot like those stroma that bear uh, the, the spores that I showed you before. Uh, you can pour water on these spots and they'll wash off. You can spit on it and rub it between your fingers and wash it off. But you don't want to be the person who calls in an airplane and uh, costs their producer or their, their client a lot of money to spray a fungicide on a field to control insect poop. Management, you want to use an integrated management scheme here. Cultural practices such as tillage and rotation may have a small effect because this is something that can be born on the residue. We know that uh, it, it tends to be dispersed relatively far on air currents. So you can imagine if you till your field, you can still get infections from a neighbor's field. Hybrid selection, remember no, there's no resistance out there. We do have various levels of tolerance. So you should go to your sealed person and say, hey, which one do you have that is less uh, susceptible to tar spot? Maybe you want to check out that particular hybrid. Fungicide selection, there's several that are labeled now. You're going to want to time these at the onset of an epidemic. So scouting is going to be essential. You want to make sure if you've got this disease starting anywhere before R3, uh, you, you might consider a fungicide application and you're going to be going with something that has a mixed mode of action. There are several different resources that you can go to for tar spot management recommendations and updates. Those are all found here. You can contact me 
uh, either via email or reach me on Twitter. And you can also send samples to the diagnostic clinic if you think you have tar spot. Thank you again and have a great day.